Look at this taco salad, you guys. Fire flames. I have some arugula, some salsa, some lean ground turkey that I seasoned with taco mix from Trader Joe's, a little cheese, and some taquitos. Yum. Okay, you guys, so I ate my salad and I don't know why, I just randomly decided to vlog this weekend. It's Labor Day weekend and where I work, we always have like a half day before Labor Day weekend. So it's Friday afternoon and I wanna get a good workout in at the gym. I've been really consistent with working out. So definitely wanna carry that into the weekend. I'll probably do um, like a 25 minute run, I'm thinking, but the craziest thing happened this morning. Let me show you guys. So as you can see, my closet is literally empty because these shelves fell down. Now, ever since we moved in here, they were kind of loose and um, they were just always loose ever since we lived here. But we've been living here now for over six months. And as you can see, I took out everything that was in my closet and piled it up over here. So Nick put in a maintenance request. For some reason, like I can never access the system. So he put in a maintenance request um, and hopefully the people will come soon. They usually come pretty fast, but I think he put it in around two hours ago and they haven't come yet. So um, they usually just come in if we're not here, but I'm gonna run to the gym. Uh, that was just some craziness that happened today. <laughs> But after I go to the gym, I'm gonna go to the outlets and do a little shopping. Um, I swear every time I vlog, I go to the outlets. I don't know why. I think I just like vlogging when I have like more time. And when I have more time, I usually go out to the outlets because they're like 45 minutes from where I live. But that's what we're doing today. Tomorrow's Nick's birthday. So I actually wanna get him like maybe a few more things. And so we're celebrating his birthday tomorrow. Sunday, we're actually like, doing a combined birthday celebration with my family for me and Nick because our birthdays are really close together and we're going to the Cheesecake Factory and then I think Monday we're going to go to a winery so that's what we're doing for this little Labor Day weekend. Pretty casual, pretty low-key. Last year we went to Chicago which was really fun. Um, we went to the Starbucks Reserve and we went on a river cruise and we did a lot of sightseeing so watch that vlog if you love travel vlogs, um, but yeah. So that's what's up. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now let's go work out. We love an empty gym. I am now dripping with sweat. I did a 25 minute run. So make a pumpkin spice coffee with me at home. Um, I picked up some of this La Cologne cold brew. It's really good. It's really strong. Um, so if you like a very strong coffee taste, I would recommend this for you. We'll do maybe a little more. That's probably good. And then we're gonna add this Starbucks pumpkin spice creamer. It's so good. I think it honestly mimics the real taste pretty well. Give her a nice stir. And of course I'm drinking out of my bride cup that I got from Amazon. I'll link them below in case you're also a bride to be. Um, they came in a set of six. There were five bridesmaid cups, which I gave to my bridesmaids during the bridesmaid proposal and then one that's a bride for me. Oh, it's so good. I love how you can taste both the flavor of the pumpkin spice and still the coffee taste. Now I'm gonna get ready. I'm just gonna do some light makeup and probably straighten my hair. And I'm gonna listen to the dopamine playlist on Spotify. That's like my favorite playlist. So we just got some Chick-fil-A for dinner. I already ate it because I was starving. People are crazy on the roads. And I'm here at Hobby Lobby because um, I figured I would go there before the outlets and see if they have any like wedding stuff. Um, we are paying for a florist to do our like centerpieces at our reception and flowers at the church and all of that. So I don't need flowers for the wedding, but I do need some like fake flowers and like table uh, centerpieces for the table for the bridal shower. So um, 
I feel like you can never start le looking for that stuff too early just because I feel like one time goes by really quickly and then you know you might feel like pressured to buy something you don't really like so I just kind of want to take my time and really decide on everything so um, I'm gonna look for some wedding stuff and maybe some fall decor for the apartment I definitely want to make a decorate with me video coming up on my channel So I finished up at the outlets and then I just ran to Target and Giant Eagle. The outlets were so disappointing. The only thing I got there was Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, which was worth it because it was only $26. And I think now in Sephora, it's like $56, that foundation. So when they have my shade at the outlet, it is totally worth it to buy it. I mean, that's less than half off. So, you know, wow. But that's literally the only thing I got. I tried on a pair of jeans at Old Navy. They're just kind of like, eh. And other than that, I saw like nothing I liked. Um, so it was like very disappointing. Everything was very like cleared out, which I guess makes sense because it's the end of the summer season. But I thought they would have like new fall stuff that was cute. But like even H&M, which I feel like I always find something at H&M, there was nothing there. I did get something really cute at Hobby Lobby for the wedding though. I got these little um, champagne flutes and um, they have like a bride's a bride dress on one of them and like a groom's tux on the other and I thought they were so cute and we could use those for like detail shots at the wedding I'll show you guys when I get home and I also got these little like sticky notes that say um like giving ideas for date nights and I thought we could use that at the shower so I did get a couple things at Hobby Lobby and they were both actually 40% off the his and her brand which they have there um, for weddings all of their stuff was 40 percent off today so that was actually a pretty good deal but other than that i didn't get anything except for i got nick like some candy at target um and like a little balloon and a, and a birthday card and just like little things like that that added up to be like a lot of money which is so annoying <laughs> i feel like everything is so expensive like a birthday card is like five bucks now um which is ridiculous but anyway I'm heading home. I don't know if we're going to do anything tonight or if we're just going to like watch some TV and hang out, but it's about 7.30 now and it's going to take me about 45 minutes to get back. Happy Saturday, you guys. So I just ate breakfast and I'm trying a little pre-workout, this Cosmic Stardust by Alani New. It's really good. Um, I feel like I'm pretty sensitive to caffeine in these types of drinks. I don't normally drink them, but um, I feel like I need some extra energy before my workout today. So I bought this at the store yesterday just because I thought it looked cool and I've heard good things. I'm definitely not going to drink it all, but I'm going to see if this makes me like work out better. I figured it's worth a shot but anyway i'm gonna work out hopefully do another like 25 minute or 30 minute run um i know it's gonna be hard for me today because it's like my third day in a row of doing intense exercise because on thursday i went to spin so i feel like that third day is always kind of hard for me and tomorrow will be a rest day then monday morning i have spin and then tuesday i'm trying my very first f45 class which i think i'm gonna make a video on that whole experience um, but after I work out, Nick and I are going tuxedo shopping for the wedding, so we're gonna do that and then it'll be time to celebrate his birthday. We're going to dinner and we're gonna get some drinks, so it's gonna be a nice little Saturday. Yet again, the gym is completely empty. I worked out and I showered and got ready for the day. Update the energy drink did help. I think it definitely gave me more energy and now we're going to uh, pick out tuxedos hopefully and see what they have look what nick's mom sent him for his birthday it's this little thing that comes out and there was a cake in it and there's candy and it had these butterflies isn't that cool Lost again, going back around Dreaming of a time when I get things right Lost in the shadows of a million stars So this 
is Nick's birthday haul. I'm not gonna do a haul, but this is all of his presents. Yay. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> and this is my outfit for dinner. If you guys remember, I wore this in the Paris vlogs. It's this um, just like blue cinched waist dress from J. Crew, and I really like it. It's definitely giving Parisian vibes. <laughs> Happy Sunday, we just got out of church and we got some La Cologne coffee. Um, we're taste testing the pumpkin flavor at La Cologne. It's really nice. It's like a nice, slightly sweet flavor. Kind of similar to Starbucks, but I would say a little sweeter. But it's good. Now we are heading to Trader Joe's to get some groceries for the week and then we're meeting up with my parents and my brother for dinner later. It is much later and we're over here in the south side and we're going to meet my parents for dinner at the Cheesecake Factory. It is much later now and we are trying to figure out this fire pit at our apartment that we've never used. I had dinner with my parents at the Cheesecake Factory, my parents and my brother. It was very nice and now it's like 9.30 and we decided to come out and sit outside and have a little wine and enjoy our little fire pit um, at our apartment. So that's the plan for the rest of the night. Good morning guys, it is Monday morning and I am sitting in the parking garage. It's Labor Day and I'm here at my spin class. It doesn't start for another half hour. I don't know why I got here so early. I think I was used to the classes like during the week they normally start at like 45 um like 15 till the hour and um I don't know why I just didn't say quarter till the hour that made no sense I'm clearly not awake um but this class starts at 9 a.m so it's like a little after 8 30 right now so I'm just waiting here till it becomes a little more acceptable to go into the class but I'm taking my favorite instructor Emily she is so tough and so motivating and i love her classes so um i definitely i typically go to her classes on monday nights but um i wanted to get my workout in so we are here and we're working out i'm wearing my align tank i love these i have another one in white and i am constantly wearing them they are definitely worth the money 100 percent I just finished up my spin class. It was so tough. My hair is literally soaking wet and curly. It's so funny. I was, I saw it so much in that class. Um, but I just drove over to Bakery Square and I'm going to pick up Nick and I some Starbucks um, and maybe pop into Anthropology. Um, I've been really wanting those like really cute pumpkin glasses that I've been seeing online. Um, but I never want to order them online because I don't want to ever pay for shipping. So I might pop in there and see if they have any, even though I'm like, disgusting and sweaty but um yeah bakery square is this cute little area kind of on the east side of pittsburgh and there's like a lot of cute little shops and restaurants and it's just a nice little place we secured the pumpkin beverages however anthropology is not open because it's labor day so no pumpkin glasses for me so i'm back home now and i want to finally show you guys what i got at hobby lobby the other day so i got these cute champagne flutes with the bride's dress and then the groom's attire on it. I know these are so cute. I feel like we can either use these just for like detail shots before um, the ceremony or um, maybe use these at the rehearsal dinner or Nick even said like maybe we could have them at our head table. I don't know, but we're definitely finding a use for these because they are so cute. And again, I found these at Hobby Lobby. They're the brand His and Hers. And over Labor Day weekend, they were having a 40% off sale of everything from this brand. So I also picked up these little date night, share your best ideas for the happy couple. Little cards that people can fill out at my shower. I'm planning on having like a table when you first walk in with like some pictures of Nick and I, maybe a guest book. Um, probably like some games and I'll put these on the table at the shower um, just for people to fill out because I thought this was cute. And I feel like I can um, probably just like put like a basket or a jar or something for people to leave these in. And then after I'm done, we can like either keep them in the jar or like put them in a scrapbook or do something like that. Standing up there for like we're here at the winery and we got some sparkling pruner. It's very tasty, slightly dry, 
slightly sparkling and a little grapey tasting <laughs> and we've been listening to live music and just chilling and hanging out. We're back at our apartment now and we had some leftover spaghetti for dinner. We're taking a walk and we are going to end the vlog here. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week. Dreaming of a time when I get things right Lost in the shadows of a million stars Shouldn't they in my